Hallelujah. Glory to God. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to talk to you. I'm so happy to bring the fresh word from God. Amen. I'm so happy. This is Prayers and Counseling with Damaris. If you're seeing me for your very first time, I am Damaris. May the Lord bless you for me in the name of Jesus. Please, this is no waste of time. You're here because God wants you to be here. You're watching me right now because God wants you to hear this. Amen. Hallelujah. Please kindly watch to the end. Be patient enough to watch to the end. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share so that others may be, may be able to benefit from this amazing channel in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says I should tell you, avoid the places that remind you of your negative past. Amen. I think this is a direct prophetic word for somebody. The Lord says, avoid places that remind you of your negative past. That is what the Lord says I should tell you today. He says you should avoid those kind of places. Because where you are determines what grows in you. Whether your weaknesses or your strength. Whether positive energy or negative energy. Where you are determines that. The Lord is sending his word for me to tell you that you should avoid places that remind you of your negative sides or your negative past that you are trying to forget. Your success either grows or either dies based on the people around you, based on your environment, based on the places that you spend most time with. Amen. The Lord said I should, give you a script, I should read to you a scripture. John 15, the verses 4. The Bible says, Abide in me and I will abide in you. As branch cannot bear fruit on itself, except it abides in the vine, no more can he except he abide in me. The Lord is sending his word for me to tell you that you should try as much as possible to abide only in the things that can remind you of the positive aspects of your life. Things that can remind you of the love of God, the plans of God, the promises of God. Help you to forget the negative parts in you. The Bible says that when you give your life to Christ, you are a new creation. All things, all things have passed away and behold, everything has become new. So anything that reminds you of your past is not good for your mental health. Anything that reminds you of your past is not good for your mental health. It is not good for your future. Your future does not need those kind of energy. They are toxic. Amen. They are toxic. The word the Lord is, the Lord is sending this word because He wants you to hear it at this point in time. He wants you to realign your path, realign yourself. He wants to change something. He wants you to change something. It is a prophetic instruction. God says you should abide. Only in those things that will help you. In positive-minded like kind of people. You see, that is why most of the times, people of like-minded people dwell in the same area. I used to think it's just maybe a coincidence or so, but when the Lord gave me this particular um, word, I, I began to think and I realized a lot of things. Like-minded people dwell in a particular place together. For example, people who sell clothes. If you notice, there is a place where everybody there sells just clothes. Just clothes, just clothes, just clothes. It's an area. Where I live, there is a place where there is a, a, a quarter, a street, that, that just banks that there. When you want to collect money or you want to do any, mom, any money transaction, you just go there. It's a, an area vast, just having banks here and there. Same with people who say electronics, there is an area for them. Because they understand that principle. They get to understand that principle. Bible says, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers because it has something that it does in you. It has something that it either takes or it puts in you. That is why the Lord says that there is nothing that the Bible says that is not important. The Bible says, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. You might think you want to help them, but they will pull you out of track. Amen. So the Lord says you should abide in him and he will abide in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit without its roots. So 
Can we not excel without God? Without abiding ourselves in the things that concerns God. Positive, like-minded people. Amen. So now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. Please stay connected to this channel. Share, like, so that others may be able to hear the word from God. Amen. I love you.